So let's crack. Just gonna shoot you a little update about what's happening in America. Because the US financial system is feckin' falling apart. And you're not hearing it in the news, I bet. Well, you can let me know in the comments. I don't know, I don't watch the news. It's all lies. <laughs> not all of it, most of it is. Okay. Uh, but I doubt if you're hearing that the US just had the second biggest banking collapse in US history. In the history of America, the second biggest financial catastrophe happened last week. Okay, and right now they're papering over cracks and scrambling to stop a bank run. A bank run would basically collapse the whole of the US economy. Um, it started with a startup bank. Uh, I think there's been three US banks now go wallop since last week. And uh, lo and behold, as Dinny predicted, okay, this is what we do. We privatise the profits and we socialise the losses. Okay. What's that mean, Dinny? Because I didn't know what, I, what that meant when I heard that phrase a few years ago. And by Jesus, now I understand it. The reason... What that phrase means is that you as a poor person are going to stay poor. This system was going to work against you, and unless you're an insider, okay, unless you're part of the elite, unless you're part of the 1%, you're basically screwed, okay? Because you, if you take risk and you get it wrong, you lose your money, okay? But when rich people take risk and rich people get it wrong, they change the rules, all right? They bail themselves out. So this bank that uh, has gone wallop, uh, last week I said it's likely that the government step in and bail the bank out and lo and behold today we get the news government stepping in and bailing the bank out. Now if you've been following here hold on I think we go inside it's a bit busy here. I'm in a little restaurant here just getting a bit of food. Go on, drive on there chap. You don't know which way to be looking when you're in Spain, let's yep, yep. Oh yo, you just got a leg it. <laughs> um If you've been following what I've been saying, I was telling you that what we gotta do now is this where I was, yeah. What we got to do now is we have to uh, make people broke. That's how we fix inflation. We got to make people broke. But guys, we don't want to make rich people broke. It's only poor people that we have to take the money from. So when your auntie and uncle or your mother or your father, or your brother or your sister, or maybe you yourself, when you lose your job, okay, because your business can't keep up with inflation or the, the place you work for can't keep up with inflation, the hurdle rate, okay, or you default on, default on your mortgage and you lose the house, that's fine, that's grand. You won't get a bailout, okay? And guys, do me a favour, hit the like button. More people need to see this, plebs need to see this, plebs need to understand this. Oh yeah, gracias. Where are you from? Uh, Ireland. 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 Yeah, see. Yes. He doesn't know I'm doing a video here. So, you won't be getting the bailout, okay? But the problem is, with uh, Silvergate, our fucking it was rich people's bank, okay? 98% of the deposits were over 250K, all right? So it's a rich people's bank, all right? They were banking the startup industry, okay? And the government's decided they're gonna bail them out. Now the thing is, the government don't have the money. Where do governments get money that they don't have? Debt, what does debt mean? It means printing money, what does that mean? It means creating money out of fresh air. So do, you can't create Bitcoin out of fresh air, but you can create euros or dollars out of fresh air. That's why they are worthless, worthless over time, not worthless. Okay, just work less over time. Um, and that is why uh, Bitcoin is such a valuable asset to own, because not only is all the other things I talk about, but the fact you can't create it out of thin air, that's why it trends up in value over time. Um, so this isn't a surprise, arm yourself with this information, understand Europe have runaway inflation, okay? It's only a matter of time before things start breaking in Europe, we will be printing money, everything that happens in the US affects you and me, it affects the price that you pay for everything what happens in America. So don't think it's like, that's ah, an American problem, it's a circus problem. It's only out in Lebanon that the banks fall apart. This affects you, it's gonna affect your future, it's gonna affect your kids. Um, and, uh, that's yes. uh, and you gotta pay attention to this stuff, okay? This is the rules of the game. The rich get bailed out, the rich can take the risks, and when it goes wrong, we pass the losses on to other people. People who don't have to invest, people who keep their money in cash, people who just work a job and don't understand how the financial system works, don't understand how money works. They take the burden of all the risk, okay? When it goes right, the rich people take all the money. The poor people don't get to share in that, all right? So it's important that you learn this stuff. Whatever your situation is, okay, the generations behind you are so screwed because this is all getting burdened upon them, all right? Or if you happen to be a little bit younger, you know, if you're in your 70s or 80s and you're sitting on a lump of cash, yeah, you probably don't have to worry about this once you can survive inflation for the next decade or two. You know, grand. But if you're a little bit younger, oh baby, you gotta pay attention to this. Okay, if you think you've got a couple of decades left in you, you really have to pay attention to this. Your wealth is at risk. Your future is at risk. The amount of work you have to do is only gonna to increase to get the same things that you have today. 
and that's why it's really important to figure this stuff out, guys. Okay? We're gonna have a bit of food there now. And uh, make sure you hit the like button. Try and share this message. This is how the system works. Privatize the profits, socialize the losses. Let the poor people pay for it. Vinny out.